Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Where did we make it to? We made it to Lazarus who needs to go to the Dark Room. Which means this is probably going to be a very tough <laughs> tough one. But we've made it past several challenges this far and have ranged victorious in far more of the instances than we have died. So, who knows, maybe we'll make it this time. We're not as we're not as weak as I remembered being. Speed down. Okay, never mind. That's going to hurt my run. I could have sworn that, okay, I need to turn down my volume a bit. Oh, here's the seat. <laughs> SBS 6 OWXP. So apparently we're running on an XP. <laughs> okay. But yeah, speed down. You know how my patience is with my speed, so my dodging will be in a problematic situation more likely than not but 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 we'll probably make it nonetheless it's just a matter of patience oh another pill well at least we got it now and not I can't believe it the, the ice room is probably just one room ahead up there right I don't remember how much health Lazarus starts with to be honest and uh, since we have curse of the on no Curse of the blind, curse of the blind known, whatever. Most perfume is fear shots, which is a decent item to start with, I guess. Oh, also, in a, in a recent episode, I kept saying that Mom's eye shadow was Eve's mascara. I should probably just read the name of the item rather than just guess what it is. E whoops, that happened. Also explains the effect that it gave, gave me much, much more. What's more? What's better? It explains everything. It explains the entirety of my survival. Not really. Mr. Boom is decent given that we don't have any other space part lights at the moment. Um, I am fairly certain as to where our secret room, where our secret room is. He's so happy. And he blew the wall up. App. So, we almost have enough for this shop to be, like, the greatest thing in the world. But only almost. So I'm gonna wait. Until after the boss, and then consider if I should go in there and look for a... Uh, soul heart, perhaps? Okay, play this in a calm manner. Oh, fear shots are so good against these guys. If I can actually hit him with them. Just don't let them sneak up, sneak up on you and you should be fairly safe. Okay, this is a problematic situation. There we go. Don't get cornered. Don't get cornered. Um, there really is not much to be said about the gurglings. Many people, or some people at least, consider them to be quite annoying. I don't really see them as that big a threat. Especially if you have fear shots, as is evident, because they just kind of roam around. All I need to do is have a bit of patience and not dodge really badly like that. Always take into consideration that you have knockback to some degree and uh, they are really easily affected by it. So, Magic Moss Room, the best all stats up you can get right from the get-go, which means you also got a health of great. I need to ensure my Deal with the devil chance on the next floor. There are no soul hearts in here. Oh, huh. I would love to buy those options, but alas, that does not seem like it will be an actuality. So we'll buy a key, so I have a better chance of getting our stuff at the next floor. And I'll donate about. I should donate as much as I can. I know that's not a good investment for our next floor. But it's a, it's certainly a good investment for our future. We haven't really moved well far beyond 700 in a while now, so let's hope to get there. I should probably at least have kept 5 cents in case I need to get a spirit heart somewhere, but oh well. So these guys... Oh no, he's coming towards me! So a bomb for a bomb... Oh, actually we can save a bomb here. Let's do that. I didn't know I exited the room, but it, it works out nonetheless. So we 
checked a bunch of rocks and earned a bomb from using oh, space bison. This boom is not a bad item per se. There are just so many items that are better. We should probably go in there right away to ensure that we don't take stupid damage, but then again, I'm so likely to take stupid damage on the actual boss that it's probably better to invest my time in just dodging for the reminder of the floor once I find some extra health. If there's nothing else worth my time blowing up, I will definitely go back to that room with the uh, many rocks and just see if I can find a trap door. Maybe there could be a crawl space. It's possible. I uh, don't like you. And you're dead. Good. And we'll re kill, kill the other one. Okay. Fair enough. No rushing. I'm not going for boss rush, so... Speed down. Yeah, I don't think so, game. I don't think so. Sigrun could maybe be there, I guess. Let's not get fooled by these guys again. I tend to do that quite a bit, don't I? Just, uh... Run and uh, shoot and run, shoot and run. We, have, we found our, bar, 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 our shop, which by all means is good, just we don't really have the money to go there. Ooh, Master of, on, of Lock Keeping. Great item. Oh, wow, you're just giving it to me, aren't you, game? So, Miter gives us a high chance of, get, of our. our uh, any heart drops to be soul hearts instead of red hearts. Which means we now ha have health generating item pretty much. So I see at least I see about three places where the secret room could be. And I found the right one. Hmm, that should blow it up. Yep. Got our soul hunt, exactly what I've been look looking for. As well as some money and the hanged man. Now the hanged man could potentially be used in an appropriate situ situation where we need to fly somewhere. For now, let's just hang on to it. Huh hang on to it because honestly it could be good to have if I find a place where there's a, a ledge with money somewhere like a certain room with two golden hoops that we seem to encounter ever so every so often but never really seem to have the ability to fly to get to the money also our damage is pretty damn good considering we're left Lazarus that surprises me so another soul heart that's key which gives us two keys Another soul heart and uh, lock up, as well as. So Judas Shadow is a one up, but I don't really want to respawn as Judas. So that's oh, that's so good. But I do want Gimpy with a chance of getting um, spirit heart drops whenever we take damage. I have six cents, but this shop doesn't really seem worthwhile. I could go and donate, but eh. So we'll just continue on. Curse of the Blind, which means I cannot see what items I will be getting on this floor. Which is unfortunate, because I would rather not risk picking up... Well, Bob's brain, for instance. Uh, is this worth it? Not really. Our consumables are in a decent location, considering everything. Okay, when these get scared, they just freeze in the place? Or what just happened? Looked like it. Mom's knife? Are you kidding me? Okay. Now I'm I'm willing to accept if we get uh, Bob's brain now, just because that would right about round out with everything. That was not a secret room, but hey, we have uh, infinite bombs technically. Every second room we have an air bomb at our disposal, so no harm done. I'll just use a normal bomb here. No? Okay. I should have a bit of patience just to look at the rest of the floor first before I start hunting those, but... Oh, uh, well. Um, stop coming so close to me. Okay. Come on. You you can do better than this. At least these enemies can't hurt me, unless I touch them. Uh, that could also be a secret room right there. I really should not have taken them there. No, that can't be our secret room because of the... The, um... The pit. The pit, not the Brad Pitt. That, however, that, however, seems likely. Let's use a normal bomb here. Come back to that chest in a moment. Okay, and all the normal bomb gets used here. Boom. Decent outcome, I say. 
We're not lagging in consumables. That must say, ooh, fade. Ah, haha. <laughs> well, Hankman is now literally pretty useless. So with fade, we have the ability to fly, and we get an eternal heart. Pretty damn good, if I may say so. Holy smokes, are you? Okay, we're slow, but wow. Construct from below. So now we also get extra drops. This this run is wow. Okay. So, um, pretty quickly the game has just decided that, you know what, we're letting you snowball out of control until a point where you're just constant with your run. So if you can just stay alive for that long, just enjoy the ride. <laughs> and this far I've just embraced it and, and replied with, you know what game, thank you. Here's a shop. I don't like this room. Unfortunately we don't really have the money yet. I really would love a speed upgrade. Just, just good old wooden spoon item would be fine with me, actually. I'm not asking for much. Just a good old wooden spoon. This could be our secret room. Indeed it was. I've gone pretty... Ooh, 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 ooh. So now the game on top of that says, you know what? You should really not care about bombs. I'm going to prove it to you by giving you all the bombs in the world. Now if we could get a bombs, a key, pill, we are no oh we don't even need that. We technically also have infinite keys. Damn man. This run is I don't even know what to say anymore. Damn man, damn. I'm going to do this. If nothing else we can get some money for the shop. Probably meet greed in there, but oh well. There we go. Let's find that shop wherever it is. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Oh, actually I know where the shop is. Really would love a speed upgrade. So we'll just head behind here and uh, open that. That's a library, okay. So as good as the bomb has been for us, I think we're going with Satanic Bible simply because now we can actually generate some health, even more health, but health that also damages enemies. So now we know the floor. That's a pretty nice floor, actually. I don't know. Yeah, that's our shop. Not sure. The boss is. Probably all the way on the top, but it seems unlikely. Oh, thank you, construct from below. This is a better card for us now. So, um, yeah, that's a no-brainer, right? I could go with blank card, but honestly, I don't really feel like we have any card in our hand right now that deems that worthy. And with non's habit, we have the ability to you know, get more chances on our Bible when we take damage. Anyway, we could probably end up getting enough money anyway. In fact, let's just uh, blow that guy up. I don't like him. Oh, he didn't give me money. Give me your money, dude. That's a bit of money. At this rate, I'm almost confident in just taking more damage to get... Uh, you know some use out of all these extra spirit hearts, but oh well. So, let's think for a moment. I could go back there and buy the blank card, but again, I'm not really sure that I want that. Unless I got like... No. Yeah, I would need a pretty good replacement card. Well, not replacement, but a pretty good card to want to replace this setup. Right now, I'm pretty damn good. Not feeling too sore about this. Ah, okay, so we can actually go to our boss trap room for change. Double speed down game. You're, ju you're, you're just funny, aren't you? I could take it out of the rotation and get some more bombs, but I'm not even going to bother with it. Well, that's our item. We haven't even gone to our item room yet. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I'll take infestation. Generate spiders, no, flies whenever I take damage. Our boss so happens to be here. Hmm. Interesting placement. Ouch. Took damage. That sucks. Hankman. We left that in... Hmm, weird. Okay, Gertie. I don't expect you to be a prop. You stop that. To be a problem. So Matt's book, that's more bombs and uh, dark... Uh, yeah, black hearts. Mm, sure, I'll take that. And our deal with devil is... 
Well, I really can't say no to the pact when we have this set up, can I? Damage and tears up, as well as just the fact that we still have full health. Um... I have... I think I know where the, sec where the secondary secret room is, actually. When you look at the map, it's only one spot that's a bit more isolated than the rest of them. And you will notice that one of these don't have a tip. Okay, I didn't actually expect me to be right, but there you go. Found the child's heart, which uh, <laughs> I don't really want. But I proved my point. I know how to lo locate them now. It feels good to be able to do that. <laughs> Either way, let's continue down to the next floor. I don't think we're that slow, actually. We're at Necropolis 1, and we have five minutes to go if we want boss frost. That might actually be a possibility, despite it not being a goal. I'm feeling content. I'm feeling happy. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm feeling glad about that. Lockdown. Well, that sucks. So the Ankh, Ank, um, again, I don't really want a one-up that makes us come back as a character we're not. So I'm not going to take that, simply because of that. Oh, I have to pay two keys for three bomb for six bombs. I'm just going to take one of them to complete my collection. And I think that's our shop. At some point, if I ever get Book of Revelations on an early floor, I'm going to go for a run where I'm just not trying to complete any of the goals and trying to get a Meat Boy or Bandit Skull, because we need to do that, and that's a really annoying task. So we will get the Broken Stopwatch, which isn't that bad. I'm getting the battery instead. I could get the Broken Stopwatch, but it's so likely to also come back and bite me in the butt. So I'm just going to donate however much this wants. Let's try to get stuck there. There we go. And it tapped out. So close. Not bad. Did manage to donate a decent amount. Uh, I didn't expect much from you anyway. I never had hide hopes for your kind anyway. You've always been some scoundrels. Rah, rah, rah. So the secret room could be here, likely. Yeah, yeah. Which means I could technically have gone to the other room for uh, free. Got two chests containing... I didn't mean to go in here, but fair enough, I'll do that before I go back to look, to get the uh, extra health. Ooh, I completely forgot he blows up. Well, that happened. Okay, that happened too. Let's try not to take too much damage. Oh my, oh my. Who am I? Well, I'm Lazarus here. So... Thank you for destroying that spider before it destroyed me. I could pick that up and start getting a, a better chance of tilts with the angel. I'm not sure I want that though. Not now. We don't really have... What Do we have anything... One moment. No collection from the deal with the angel that I have yet to pick up. That I have actually unlocked. Uh, there's the Celtic Cross that we unlocked recently. Can you only get that in... I think you can get that in normal item rooms as well though, so I don't think there's any reason to go to the ancient rooms at this point. That's a boss room. Found the item room. We find the, found the shop. There's no point to be here. The adversary should die real quick. Time's still pretty good, I'll take that. Speed shot up. Great, isn't that bad. Oh, judgment. I'll give you some of my money. Little pal, poke you with the knife. Ah, come on, I know you want to. I know you want to, you little bugger. Ah, come on, do I really have to spend the time? You know what, I'm just gonna blow him up. Now that, um, now that boss rush is actually within our grasps for a change without me having to rush, I actually feel like that might not be a bad idea. I'm still shocked at the fact that we're getting that despite being so freaking, freaking, freaking slow. That it hurts. It hurts! Where'd you go? You go there. You went there. So many hearts. Stuck Bomb would have loved that. This room sucks. 
But not because it's soft, just because it takes a while. Actually, let's get this on. So if I can just find the boss room within the next few minutes, that would be lovely. I would rather not have to skip any rooms though. Oh, you guys. Come on. It's guys like you who really just drag out time for no reason. That room was well managed, well handled. Not so much this one. Uh, boss, boss might be a bit optimistic. At least if it keeps dropping me into rooms that I can't use for anything, that's bomb the boss. But that means we're skipping all our other rooms. Oh, we don't really need the shop because we don't have money, but the item room. Oh, the item room. Too bad. Too bad. We're doing this. Oh, we're doing this. Come on, mom. Cheese. And we're going to the dark. Dark room. Dark room. Don't mess that up. Boss Ross contains. Uh, not really that much greatness. So I now I feel bad for having skipped the old rooms. We'll take Spider Baby because I think. If nothing else, that's the most exotic of the items. Okay, remember that he has Brimstone. That could really screw me over. Can't I? Oh, you can kill him. Okay. Completely forgot about that. Hello, Gertie Jr. At least boss rush should be relatively easy because of our knife situation. Let's take out the spiders before they do me any harm. Mm, don't like our speed at all. Be afraid of me. That does help the situation quite a bit, though. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Now you do your wiggle, wiggle, zigzaggy tactics. Spirit hard in case I need it. Hello, peep. Don't like your eyes, but then again, don't like you at all. And you're dead. The ability to fly is really, really useful when you're fighting uh, here. For obvious reasons. Ah, almost got out of without some damage. And now this happens. So that is now no longer a place I can hide. Hello. I hate you for the fact that you're the one who sub summoned that damn drastic dude. Dastardly dude. Oh, that's such a great shot right there. All three of them at once. There's a poop there. Ooh, that almost hit me. So everything here we can pretty much one shot if we hit it. In the correct way, yep. How come I never noticed the music of this place, or at least don't re recall it very well? Have I really been that stressed every single time? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like that music, cool. And again, the entire soundtrack to this is pretty damn good, just like the old game, the original game. It's kind of... I feel a bit sad for the one who composed the music for this game, because he'll always be kind of overshadowed by the original composer. Not because it's it's a better soundtrack, because you can't really compare soundtracks like that and be like, yeah, that's better than the other one. More like because... Because the other, uh, what, Danny Brovowski, whatever his name was. Uh, <laughs> just the fact that I remember his name and not the new composer, as I was saying. But everyone remembers the original, right? Uh, well, everyone has played it, at least. But then again, this was a bit more commercialized, wasn't it? So I suppose that only the fans would really be like that. Because that the first game was a bit more obscure in that sense, at least to start with. I don't know. But I know that that guy just blew up our second cover. Oh, poop. I was about to say, how did I get hit by that? So many spirit hearts, we don't have to worry about our health at all. Ever. I mean, we could take like five hits here and I would still be fine. Which is good, because I don't like this battle. So if I can just keep my distance like that, that's actually perfect. Yeah, that worked out. Here's a heart. Let's break your heart. And the mask becomes no problem when we have the knife. Thanks to piercing shots. What did I get hit by? Something that hit me. For a change, notice the lack 
the sheer lack of of uh, champion in enemies, which is weird considering that we always seem to find champion versions in here. Get rid of him before he gets rid of me. <laughs> Are you just chasing his horse now or what? Pretty much looks like it. Oh dear, I was a bit too optimistic. Let's get back to full health, shall we? There you go. Actually, let's get a black heart now that we're at it. I can't, come on, don't run away from me. Hello, Fallen. We've just beaten you earlier, so I don't think you should be a problem. Oh, you go, go die. And the horse is dead. Our extra item is Spelonga's hat. Which is a decent get, I suppose. At least we now know when we find the secret rooms. Um, yeah, I, I guess there's nothing left to do here. <laughs> this one is, we've been carried from the very start. This is one of those, run, those runs where you're like, yep, yep, I've been lucky. Probably should do that, actually. Oh, that wasn't worth it. At all. We already have a trinket that I'm not letting go of. That much I can tell you. Ooh, a black heart. Interesting drop that I didn't expect, but I do like it. The more spirit hearts we can uh, switch out of black hearts, the more secure it will be. I will not secure, but the more damage it will deal when we get hit. <clears throat> Thank you for the keys that I do not need. So, um, that room was pointless. <laughs> Just grab something to drink. And spill down my hand, apparently, which is just awful. One moment. Paper. Papers, please. Completely different game. Hmm, I still haven't gone around to play that, actually. Oh well, maybe one day. Seems like a decent game. But we're playing. Ay, 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 sick. I wonder how many eyes there is in that. <laughs> um. That was a pointless room. Finding quite a few of those, eh? <laughs> eh? No. So I've heard that Mom's Knife Brimstone is a, oh, an awesome combination. So I would like to find Brimstone. I can see forever. Sure, I'll uh, do that. I already had Spelonka's hat, which means I would know that a secret room was nearby and I could use my bombs. But if I can just gain the access right away, then uh, sure, I'll do that. Also, the good thing about black hearts. Let's just make a quick look. See, I didn't hear the secret room sound, so I suppose that's a sign that I'm not nearby. Any? That would actually make sense. <laughs> um, sure, I'll grab an ore chest. Can I? No, I actually use keys on those. Oh well. Ah, here's a secret room somewhere. Somewhere to my left, to be exact. This room sucks, but it's not like we can't make it out of here without dying. I feel like we have a pretty strong chance in the dark room for change. So that's good. That's good. Key beggar. I guess we'll give you my keys because I don't really need them that much. Let's pay out of something. Not a single chest. I hate you. If I get more keys, I will go and get, give him them, though, because I don't really need them. Sure, I'll give these to you. And now I decide to pay out. I thank you. We have a chest full of nothing useful. Thank you, sir. Whoa. That, uh... That, that was a bit risky. There we go, and this room doesn't give us anything useful, just a normal heart. We already have full off, so... Oh, well. Should I look for tinted rocks? I guess I could, but it's not really going to help me much, is it? Since I already pretty much cons consistently have full health. Like so. Come here, you bastard. So we should get be getting close to something now? Unless this is a large area, which it seems to be. Was that a tinder rock? I, I think I saw tinder rock. I think I skipped the tinder rock. I found the boss room. Is 
Is that a cinder rock? It looks like a cinder rock. Oh wait, it isn't. I just felt like blowing stuff up. So we have a double trouble room, or oh, Mr. Fred, Mr. Fred being the more likely, as you can see. It's funny because I didn't really fight Mr. Fred for a long time, and then suddenly now he's just appearing every now and then. Not nearly every now and then, more often. Okay, there we go. All sets up great. The halo, I am fine with that. Deal with the devil contains tuck bomb. Why you shouldn't have. Of course I'll pick you up, my little bomb. Dark bomb friend. Not that we need you because we're generating so much effing health on it anyway. I'm tempted to go and look for more keys, but at this point, that's just dragging out time, isn't it? So the Gobby Dream was nothing but a. not even close to a dream this round, but the game gave us so many other items that I don't need to be Gobby to win. I believe. I hope. Uh, not a fan of the darkness because I could easily miss stuff. Just replace another heart. If we already have full health, we might as well do that. Also, we get the point where we just have black hearts. At this point, we're not dying. That once I can tell you, for sure. For surely, do. yep, we're not dying this floor unless I lose a lot of health in a single room. And that's kind of unrealistic in my book. I think we missed our secondary secret room last floor. Well, I'm fairly sure we missed our secondary secret room last floor. Oh well, didn't really need it that badly. That was a waste of time. Get these guys. I say get these guys, that means kill them. Come on, Lazarus. The best thing is, since we're Lazarus, we could die and still technically be alive, because we'd come back. Okay, here? Never for the love of God figure out where the door is. Okay, higher then. There we go. Pills. Balls of steel, okay. Balls of steel. Pretty fly, good. Lockdown, bad. Par paralysis, bad. You could pick up a ball of steel, or I could use, uh, keep the devil card. I think I'm keeping the devil card because we're generating so much health that I don't really need that extra backup pill to secure myself. I'm feeling safe for a change. Another black heart to the collection. Going up against it lives, and I expect to have a quick, quitty big, pretty big, pretty fast battle here. go start killing stuff thank you dark bomb I think and done I get our health back okay remember we're going down to the, to the down to the cathedral down to the dark room so we need to go to Sheol first okay go to the darkness again that's lovely though the one thing I was complaining about earlier becomes the thing that also happens here more keys that I don't really need. These guys can just go F themselves because I don't care. I don't need the extra challenge and I do like the idea of being able to unlock any chests we come across. So I'm not gonna switch out my uh, trinket for something silly like that. Is, has infestation really been changed so that I also generate spiders with that? Or am I just making up effects? Oh, spider baby, of course, spider baby. This time I actually remember why we do that. More keys. You know game, you gave me the, the uh, paper clip. I don't really need these keys. I don't think, I don't know if you realize that, but yeah, that's kind of a thing. It's part of your system. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Apparently not here. This could give us a new tarot card, which could be good. Not that this is a bad tarot card, but it's always good to have extras. Since we're not getting the poor, oh, since we didn't get the Polaroid anyway. Empress card. Half Babylon for a room. We can use the devil on this floor and take the other one with us. What was I thinking? Oh dear, not these. Um, I was thinking something. I had a thought. I had a thought. Scary, I know. It happens every now and then. Eh, well, it can't have been important. I would love to find a judgman now. Hmm. I swear I had a thought. What was it? A thought occurred to me. And then 
Poof. It was gone again. Well. Um. What will happen once we reach the dark room? Well, hopefully we beat the game. I'm feeling pretty s confident in the idea of doing that. Just need to find the damn, damn end of this floor. There we go. That was a dead end as well. Jeez, man. I'm expecting this to end in a dead end as well. No, it ends in a quart room, which is probably the dead end then. Go. Ooh, what's that? Uh, nope, don't want the weird chocolatey thing. Ah, I found it. Boss room. And second secret room, of course. Thanks to Spillonger Hat. Oh, they can actually damage this all. That's good to know. I thought the uh, big super versions couldn't damage themselves. Turns out they can indeed. Thank you. Don't need to use the book yet. So now we can actually. That's the first time in a while where we can just store it. This contains more pills. Knock down, nope. This balls of steel, yeah. Pretty fly. More balls of steel. I think the game is trying to tell me, you know what, you can do this. Hello, Satan. Two, three. Great timing, right there. Okay, I think he's a bit scared, and I don't like it, because that means, yep, he was close to shooting me. Oh, the music changed at that point? Or did the music just... I don't know. Foot fight! Go on. Oh, well, it's more like a... It's not really a foot, it's a... A hoof, I suppose. And, um... <laughs> thank you. We'll go down to the dark room. Pretty easy fight. Now, what does the dark room give us? Probably just a bunch, bunch of troll bombs, yep. And... More troll bombs. Are you kidding me? Ah, okay. And a troll bomb. I called it. I told you. A bunch of troll bombs. For the most part of the very least. Oh dear. Just continue the trend. I was really hoping to get through here without taking damage, but oh well. Guess we didn't have the OP run we needed for that. Yes. Oh, okay. So sad onion. That seems to work pretty well with uh, the knife. I don't know if I do as much damage anymore, but it's fine. Death, okay. Do that, get out of here. Uh, replace one of our black hearts. Nope, one of our hard hearts. One of our hearts with black heart. Let's try to see if this has any good for us. Sell the pills. Right to the lamp, Oh, I didn't get to enjoy the rest of the floor. Oh well, could go back after the boss fight if we survive. Kind of requires that. Kind of a requirement. We're not dealing as much damage as I'd hope, I must admit. Should not be that bad though. Just don't teleport to me. Oh, yeah, that's right. The hitbox for the head is kind of below the head. It's pretty damn stupid. Oh no, no, no. Oh, damn you. Die, body. There we go. I need to hit the area beneath the head. Stupid if you ask me, but it will it'll work. You know what? I think we're, we're winning here, no matter whether or not you want it. There we go. That was a pretty quick, pretty, pretty, pretty quick run. Pandora's box has appeared in the basement. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that episode. That marks a point where we have actually defeated Isaac, Madeline, Kane, Judas, Blue Baby, Eve, Samson, Azazel, and Lazarus. Next up, Boss Ross with Eden, and um, then Challenger runs more than likely, because there's no prizes for beating the game with the lost outside the hard mode. So, Eden, for Boss Ross, and after that, Challenge runs. How do you feel about that? Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you again sometime soon. Take care on then. Bye for now.